Hey YouTube, I'm back this time with my candle and wax empties, really for the month of April, but also a little bit into May 2022. I don't have any chit chat, so let's jump right in and get started. I'm gonna start with my Bath and Body Works candles. So the first one from Bath and Body Works that I used up is one that is new for this spring. It is Pink Prosecco Frosting. I really don't get into lids, but this is a really beautiful lid. And in fact, I do enjoy this entire packaging. So I talk about how I really would like packaging to come back where it's consistently just like what the thing is. But I feel like this pink with the um, iridescent glass lid was actually pretty nice for spring transition. So again, pink Prosecco frosting. The keynotes are pink sugar buttercream, fresh blackberries, and chilled Prosecco. I, I mean, I liked it. Don't get me wrong. It smells kind of gross now because it's, you know, like it's burnt. Um, but, uh, I really like this fragrance. Don't get me wrong. I have a second one and no regrets. I'm glad that I do, but I thought I saw someone say that it's just a repackage of what is it like strawberry lemonade or raspberry mimosa, some kind of like fruity drink mix that's been out before that honestly, I typically don't pay attention that much, that much to spring candles. So like I couldn't tell you, but if it is that, I would not be surprised because what I feel like is a better name for this is like a pink lemonade frosting or something like that. Like I'm I'm a Prosecco drinker, so like I would know. This to me didn't really smell like Prosecco in the way that it would be like effervescent and bubbly and fizzy and like a little bit like wine-esque. Um, this to me smelled more like a lemonade type of frosting scent. So I think that they changed it to pink lemonade frosting it'd make more sense, but for what it's worth, I still enjoy this candle and I'm glad I have one more. So if these go cheap at SAS, I can pick some up, but um, honestly, I think that after I burn my second one, I'm probably all right, unless I find it for cheap. All right, next, I used up a wild berry jam donut. I purchased this from what, like candle day? It's been a while since I've had this. So um, the keynotes are sweet wild berry jam, powdered donut, and brown sugar crumbles. So this is just raspberry jam donut in, um, in a candle. I really enjoyed it. It really didn't give me any throw, so I wound up just popping it into my... Actually, no, that's not why I put it in there. Um, when I went to burn this, I mean like a fresh burn, like first burn, the wicks just didn't were not centered and it was just kind of making me a little bit anxious. Um, so I decided just from the second burn, just pop it straight into my candle crock and it did just fine in there. So it didn't last very long in the candle crock, but it did smell very nice. So I do like the scent, I would repurchase. Um, I think I'll just need to pay more attention to wicks when I purchase them again. Okay, so that was it from Bath and Body Works. Only two from Bath and Body Works because I've really been focusing on some Goose Creek lately. So speaking of which, one of the Goose, Goose Creek candles that I burned in April was Orange Cream Soda. So this one for some reason got like really murky and gross. My other ones didn't do that, but this one just got really dirty. I don't know what's up with that. Um, so anyway, Orange Cream Soda, um, looks like there aren't any keynotes on Goose Creek, but this smelled divine. I mean, this smelled exactly like an orange cream soda. It smelled really legit in the sense that I got like an edible orange. It wasn't like a cleaner orange. It was an edible, nice citrusy orange with a creamy drink note. So yeah, I think that Goose Creek has done an excellent job, at least with the ones I've used so far, with really hitting it like spot on with what I feel like that things should smell like. Orange uh, cream soda was fantastic. So I didn't like it enough in this sense that like, oh, I just feel like I need to go out and get more. But like, you know, if you want an orange creamsicle or an orange soda type scent, I think honestly, this is where it's at. So love the packaging. I think that Goose Creek also has done a great job with packaging. Oh, and it says vanilla, orange, and light fizz. Yeah, it just felt exactly like that. So if you want a really spot on, perfect orange cream soda scent, this is it. And you can always get good deals with Goose Creek, I'm finding too. So I have the app and I feel like they're always sending me notifications for like a whole bunch of deals. So I would say if you're interested in Goose Creek, definitely try it out. Okay, so next is really one of the ones I was so interested in with Goose Creek. This is Key Lime Cake Pot. 
uh, cake pop, excuse me. Um, this one had a cleaner burn, so um, still a little bit of schmutzing as you can see among the two top wicks there, but definitely not like my orange cream soda. Um, so the keynotes here are lime cake batter, marshmallow. Again, fantastic packaging. I mean, I love that it is a key lime cake pop and it looks like a picture of a key lime cake pop. Um, for some reason that is challenging at Bath and Body Works anymore. But yeah, this is fantastic packaging. I really adore it. So um, this smelled awesome too. So again, it just smelled like an edible key lime with some cake and it smelled very heavy and like very um like you know how cake pops are very i don't know if i would want to say concentrated but they're not like fluffy like a slice of cake um so yeah it just kind of smelled like that like it was a really sugary key lime cake so yeah it smelled great okay next i um kind of went out on a limb with this but i decided to do it because i am a green grass fan and fragrance so this is green grass and apple again by bruce creek beautiful picture burned all the way down again got a little bit discolored by the end but i feel like overall goose creek is burning pretty nicely um it definitely loses its scent by the end but i mean like hello welcome to candles um so yeah green grass and apples i got the green grass first and foremost like definitely um but there was also a nice kind of like mac apple scent to it so not mac apple like yankee candle mac apple but i definitely just got like a red apple um, to it too. That wasn't autumnal. Like it just smelled like a fresh apple. So yeah, it was great. Very interesting concept. I don't feel like I need to purchase it again, but I'm glad that I did it. So if you're a green grass fan, I would definitely check this out. And like I said, I mean, with these Goose Creek candles, I haven't burned one yet where I'm like, oh my, oh man, like I've got to have more of those. But for what they're worth, they're actually really solid. And I feel like they are definitely worth the money. All right, so the next one I used up is the last Goose Creek one from this month. This is my Wild Green Apple. So from my entire haul that I did, I'll link it down below, by the way, this is the one I was the least sure about when I smelled it on cold. And the reason why is because it gave me like a, the scent was very bitter. Like it smelled like a bitter green apple, whereas I wanted something more tart and more sweet. Um, but as it burned, it was still pretty good. So this one I think was the weakest out of all my Goose Creek candles for sure, but it was still fine. And I felt like as it burned, the scent got better. But yeah, on cold, I wasn't sure about it, but it definitely got better as it burned. Okay, so last candle that I have is a Yankee candle. This is my fresh mint. So typically I don't burn my Yankees just because like, I don't feel like they ever really do well burning. Really the exception I've had is Vineyard. I love Vineyard. Um, but typically I don't burn them. I just stick them right in my crock and that's exactly what I did here. So I have a Yankee Candle outlet probably like 40 minutes south of me. So I'm in Denver and there's a Yankee Candle outlet in Castle Rock um, that I like to go to, especially during SAS. And they often have the large jars for $15. So I just kind of picked one up from there. So as you can see, um, yeah, the entire time it was just in my candle crock, so it tends to, the wax tends to kind of get drawn down um, with the wick by the time it's done. But anyway, I love Fresh Mint from Yankee. It is fabulous. It's not peppermint. It smells like a mint leaf, like a mint plant, and I really love that. So if you want a mint that is not peppermint, Fresh Mint from Yankee, from Yankee Candle is really where it's at with that. So would repurchase. Again, I would only put it in my crock just because I feel like it does the best there, but mm, I love Fresh Mint from Yankee. All right, so next let's get into some wax melts. I've really been focusing on wax melts. I honestly couldn't even tell you the last time I did like a haul of wax melts. Um, I'm wanting to do one maybe this summer or so, so I'm really trying to get ready for that by just kind of like moving out my old stuff. So I'm going to start with my Yankee and then I will get into um, some other brands. So the first one that I used up is one of these clamshells from Yankee that has like the six um, little things of wax. And this is in Mary Berry. So this just smells um, kind of like Berry Trifle, like it's reminiscent of Berry Trifle. To me, it's a little bit, I wouldn't say more palatable because I really enjoy Berry Trifle but it's a little bit more subdued, I think. So yeah, it just kind of smells like a cookie with a berry filling. So it's marketed for 
um, the winter time, as you can probably tell, but I can really enjoy this any time of year. Just like Berry Trifle, it's marketed for the winter, but I really love it any time of year and I would repurchase it. So I wouldn't hoard it. Like I'm good with the fact that I've used it up, but I would totally get it again. The next one that I used up is also from Yankee, but I'm pretty sure I bought this particular one from Kohl's. Um, this is the vanilla cupcake. So it just smells very much so like a vanilla buttercream, like unmistakably a buttercream scent. And yeah, I really like it. I mean, it's quite heavy for sure, but it's a really good blender. Like I typically don't just like pop this in by itself. I usually will blend it with something like a, I actually really enjoy like vanilla cupcake with like Mac apple. I think that smells really good together. So yeah, it's just that I just happen to use this up right now. And I love the picture on that. Very nice. Wood repurchase. Next from Yankee, I used up a Tarte in Cafe El Fresco, one of my one-time loves from Yankee. I mean, I still like it, but I'm finding that as I melt it more and more, I'm kind of liking it a little bit less and less. So it still smells nice. It's still very much so like a sweet kind of cappuccino scent, but to me it smells more and more like oatmeal anymore, which like I can be fine with that, but it's not something I really want all the time. So love it. At least I did for a while, but I still like it. It's just that I don't feel like I need to hoard it anymore. Violet. Hi. I got both the cats with me. Hi. What are you doing? All right. So anyway. Anyway. All right. So the last thing from Yankee that I used up um, is a votive. This is in Strawberry Bunny Shortcake. So another one that I purchased. I want to say at Summer SAS last year. This to me just smelled like a kind of like berry candy plus a little bit of cake. It's very interesting. It was pretty light in my um, in my candle warmer. So, I mean, I enjoyed it for the time being, but like forgettable, whatever. Okay, next I just have a couple things from Better Homes and Gardens and Sensationals. From Better Homes and Gardens, I have a value pack in French lilac flowers. I really love this. I especially love to mix it again with vanilla cupcake or vanilla cookie crunch. These two go very nicely together. Um, French lilac flowers. I love it, but you gotta love lilac. It is very intense, very in your face, but if you want that kind of thing and if you like lilac, this is definitely where it's at with that. I really like it, but even for me, someone who likes florals, I do, you know, like I said, prefer to kind of mix it with some kind of nice kind of gourmand vanilla to kind of tone down that lilac but it is wonderful for spring speaking of wonderful for spring I also used up a sensational's blue sky this is uh, it says make a wish um, it says it is a fresh scent and I really like it like I don't like uh, detergent like you'll never really see me haul anything that's like gain or tight or whatever this is where it's at for me in terms of a fresh scent so it smells like clean laundry but it doesn't smell like detergent to me so very nice I really like it for a day when I you know like got the windows open and I'm cleaning or whatever it's like a Saturday morning and it's warm outside great for that so would totally recommend it if you want a nice clean scent but you don't like detergent this is an excellent one for that okay and then the very last one that I used up is also from Sensational. this is watermelon kiwi, kiwi lemonade this is one of the most recent ones I have purchased I really wanted to try it out because I do enjoy a nice drink scent for the spring and summer but I will say that I don't really like it something about it is just a little bit cloying to me and really throws me off like to me it almost smells like like a watermelon rind it doesn't smell like a sweet kind of candied watermelon so I think it's that that's kind of giving me the icks a little bit um, but it is a little bit cloying so while I'm happy that I tried it I would not repurchase it it just was not it for me but if you feel like you would like something like this just kind of try it anyway see how you go but I'm okay with the one and done for this all right, so that is it for my wax empties for, again, April and a little bit into May for 2022. Hope y'all enjoyed. As always, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Schoolhouse of Iron. I'll put that down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.